Welcome back, grade tens. I see I've missed an example where we had to figure out the percentage of water of crystallization and then determine the formula of a compound. So this is remote video lesson number seven, and we will work through one example. Right, the example is as follows. Lindiwe heats five grams of aluminum chloride in a crucible to get rid of the water of crystallization. After heating, the mass of the aluminum chloride is 2,8 grams. So the difference between the 5 grams and the 2,8 grams is the water that evaporated during the heating. Calculate number 5.1, the percentage of crystallization in the or original water of crystallization in the original sample. This is a new way of doing it. By mass, we're going to use the mass of the compound. So 5.1, the percentage water in the sample would be the mass of the water divided by the mass of the sample. The mass of the water is 5 minus 2.8. 5 minus 2.8 is 2.2. So the mass of the water is of minus 2.8 because the crystals will stay in um, the crucible. So it's 2.2 grams. And the mass of the sample is half grams. So convert that into a percentage. And you get 44% as the water of crystallization. Question 5.2 says, calculate the number of moles water present in one mole of aluminum chloride. Now, the mass of the aluminum chloride would be 2.8 grams and the mass of the water is 2.2 grams. We must use these masses to get the mole ratio between the aluminum chloride and the water. So first of all, we need to sort out the anhydrous aluminium chlorides formula. Aluminium's valency is three, chlorine's valency is one. So the formula for aluminium chloride is AlCl3. The formula for water is H2O. The mass of the aluminium chloride that we have after the um, evaporation of the water trapped in the crystals is 2.8. So to calculate the mole ratio between aluminum chloride and water, I need to use the mass of aluminum chloride and its molar mass. So the mass is 2.8 and the molar mass for aluminum, the mass is 27. And for chlorine, the mass is three times 35.5. So the molar mass of aluminum uh, chloride is 35.5. I just want to double check that because I had funny things here on my shop. 27 plus 3 times 35.5, and I get 133.5. So this, the number of moles is 2.8 divided by 133.5, which gives us 0 0.021 mole of aluminum chloride. The moles of water is the mass of the water divided by the molar mass of water. It's 2.2 divided by 18. 
for water, 2.2 divided by 18 would be 0, 0,122 mole. So what is this ratio? The ratio is 0, 0,021 to 0, 0,122. But we don't write ratios as decimal fractions. So how will I turn it into integer values? Well, this is the smaller one. So we divide the smaller one by itself so that we will get one. And this is the bigger one, and we need to divide it by the same number, 0 0.21. So we get 0 0.122 divided by 0 0.021, and we get a 5.8. Let me just double check on this one, 0 0.122 divided by 0 0.021, and I get 5.8. 5.8 is very close to 6. So what I'll do is I'll convert that, uh, round it up to 6. So in one mole of the aluminum chloride, we have 6 moles of water. And I think I have answered question 5.3 there. What is the formula for aluminum chloride, including the water of crystallization? If you have any questions, please make contact. I will happily help you.